I'm realizing now that I'm not very well dressed for these videos. Can you see this black shirt that I'm wearing underneath? If you currently use Spotlight Search on Mac, this video will improve your life. If you don't know what Spotlight Search is, this video will literally change your life and your productivity. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is David Lowe. I'm an incoming medical scientist and scholar elective student at Western University. This video is about one of my top productivity apps, maybe even the top, and that is Alfred. Alfred is unfortunately only available on Mac, but if you use Windows, there are alternative options that I will link down below. Alfred, simply put, is a software that allows us to use keyboard shortcuts to make our workflow faster and more efficient. So I wanted to start by showing you how much time I can save for Alfred. Say I wanted to find a file, my grade 12 quantum chemistry notes. So if I open Finder, I'll be in St. Augustine, grade 12, quad four, chemistry, and then my chemistry 12 quantum notes. What if instead I used Alfred? Boom. You can find the file just by typing it in and look how much time that saved. Every morning I do three minutes of typing. I don't know how useful it is because my typing speed is going down, but say I wanted to open monkey type. I can pull up Safari, I can open a new tab, monkeytype.com. Boom, okay, that's pretty fast. But what if we can make it faster with Anki? I actually have a web shortcut that allows me to just type in M in Alfred and it pulls up monkey type immediately. So watch, M, boom one thing to type. That's so much faster. It just saves time. It, it shaves off time in our day, getting to where we want to get to. We don't want to be spending our time getting to the projects, getting to studying, but actually studying itself. Quick break. I'm going to go have breakfast with my family. <laughs> 298 frozen patties late. One Tim Hortons chocolate muffin later. Now that you've seen the power of Alfred, let me show you how to use it. So when you first open up Alfred in the general section, you can choose your Alfred hotkey, what keyboard commands you want to press to open up Alfred in the first place. So for me right now, it's option space. So if I press option space, Alfred will appear. You can change what you want your Alfred to be. Hey, it's David from the next day. Sam actually showed me how you can switch your Alfred hotkey from option space to command space. So you first have to get rid of spotlight search being command space. So you can turn off spotlight search by going into your system preferences and then you can go to spotlight and keyboard shortcuts. And then in the shortcuts tab, you can see show spotlight search being command space. I have this unchecked right now because I made command space to pull up Alfred because I just don't use spotlight search at this point. So you will probably have this checked, uncheck it. Now, when you open Alfred, you should be able to say this was option space. I can now make this command space and it will make that my Alfred hotkey. Cool, back to the video. <laughs> so the next thing is when we go to the features tab. Something amazing about Alfred is that you can search up websites. So instead of having to go to Safari or Chrome or whichever browser software you, you use, say you want to search up when does pizza pizza close. Instead of having to go to Safari and opening a new tab and search it up, you can just type it right into Alfred. When does pizza, pizza close? And then it will just search it up on your default browser for you. So it closes at 12 a.m. Well, that's pretty late. In the same way with Alfred, you can open apps. So every morning I open Anki, option space, Anki, open. I think all I might have to press is type in just A-N and Anki will be the first app that comes up just because of how much I use it. I think I just type A, yeah. Anki is still the first thing that comes up. To open files, it's a little bit different. You have to press option space and then press space again. And now it will go through a file search. If I wanted to search up my chemistry quantum notes now, I could type in space and the chemistry quantum notes will open up. But if I didn't press option space and then space again to go into file search mode, chemistry quantum notes, because it's not an app, then it will search that up on Chrome. So that second space is crucial. Next, how can you create custom keyboard shortcuts to open specific websites? So for example, if I just press option space and just M, you see that if I press enter, monkey type will pop up. Just because of how much I use monkey type, I made it a keyboard shortcut. Same thing with YouTube studios. Instead of having to type in creatorstudios.youtube.com, I can just press option space, YS space. And then it just brings me to creator studios. And there's my channel. Yay. Wow, it's it's one of five. And I think that means that that's my best performing video of my last five videos. 
So that's pretty sick. So how can you do this? That's besides the point. If you go to web search, you can add custom search. So you first can think of a list of sites that you commonly visit. So for me, I have Google Drive, Kumon Class Log, which is for work, Monkey Type, YouTube, and YouTube Studios. Say for some reason that you wanna visit this site every day and you do it very often, instead of having to type in rejectiontherapy.com, I can create an Alfred shortcut. So on the bottom right here, you can see the button add custom search. And if I search the URL, I can type in the URL that I want Alfred to search up. I can name this rejection therapy and say my keyword is just OJ. So if I press save, that means that I will be able to type in OJ into the Alfred search and then Alfred will open up the rejection therapy website. So save option space OJ and it immediately opens up the rejection therapy site. Alfred also has a built-in calculator and why it's better than Spotlight is that it automatically copies it to your clipboard. So say you wanted to know five times four. Oh, Okay, this is something to note. For multiplication, it's not an X because how would Alfred differentiate between X, the letter, and X is times. So instead you use an asterisk, so shift eight. And then if you press return, it automatically copies a number to your keyboard. So command V and you can see that 20 automatically appears in my search bar. You know you're most efficient when you don't use your trackpad at all. I think that's taking a little too far, but you can minimize the amount of time you spend on your trackpad. So you can always keep your fingers on the keyboard, navigate your computer straight from the keyboard most of the time. Yeah, so that wraps up this video on Alfred. I hope that you found this video helpful and entertaining and that you learned about this new tool that will supercharge your productivity and keep you as efficient as possible. If you could take a second to like the video and subscribe and share with me some of your comments below, I would really appreciate that and I'd love to hear your thoughts. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope that you had an awesome time today too. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.